Geeks, Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're looking at IOBit on Installer 8RC. RC is release candidate. That is what comes after a beta, typically meaning that it's almost ready for install, final checking for bugs, etc. So this is what you'll see when you open it up. You will see all your programs here that you can remove, which is kind of neat. Basically, as you know, over time you end up with a lot of junk on your computer from registry entries, files, folders. Startup items could be left behind. Scheduled tasks could be left behind. IOBit Uninstaller checks for all that. It does a lot more, though. Let's take a quick look before we show you this. It has a bundleware setting now. I love this. And I test it with KM Player, which is probably one of the worst ones out there nowadays. One of them. Uh, there's so many, There's less and less of them than ever before, but they still exist. KM Player, as you can see, it automatically detected KM Player was a problem. As you can see, here's the subs meaning it installed Opera and it installed Avast. Now we can remove them. I will also mention when I installed KM Player, to save time I did it earlier, basically it popped up over here in the window and said, hey, it's trying to install this, you want to remove it. So that's kind of neat, little bundleware watcher. So you can look at recently installed, which is most everything on here. Uh, large programs, if you're looking to save space, See, there's a beauty of it right there. So if you got KM Player and somebody installed a vast of, you know, free antivirus on you, you got almost a gig wasted space. Ridiculous. Uh, infrequently used might be nice if you're looking here for some. Oh, yeah, I forgot I had it. Get the junk out of there. A software updater and the toolbars and plugs in. It's separated from Internet Explorer, Opera, and Edge. I don't see Firefox in here yet, but. That's a nice way to clean out your toolbars and, of course, Windows apps. So while we're here, we'll just goof around. Uh, I don't think anybody wants Bubble Witch Saga on their computer. So you just check this box. You can also look here for Windows apps by expanding it. It's probably intentionally hidden because some of these can be difficult to restore. So you can hide or show that. So let's go with these third-party apps. You can also check multiples. So you could remove two or three at a time batch uninstall. So we click the uninstall button. You can now create a restore point or automatically remove residual files and I will correct myself not or and or. So let's click uninstall. If there's an installer sometimes it will come up here and, and you'll watch that while it's doing its thing. So let's give this a second here as it comes around and it should pop up and notify us where we're at. Pretty neat. There you go. So here's the files, deleted space. There are no registry scheduled tasks or services to deal with. So that's a beautiful thing. We're out of there. So that's most of your stuff. Your action center, I believe, is a lot of links to their other programs. I have no problem with that. Uh, you have easy uninstall. What this does is you can drag and drop it to a window. So let me get it going here. So click on it. And if I wanted to install a vast, as you can see, uninstall, delete shortcut, open file location. So we can click on uninstall. And as you can see, they want you to use Pro for multiples. But you can do them one at a time for free. Not a big deal. I got no problem with that. And I'm going to probably hit pause for a second here just to free up a little bit of time. There's what I was talking to you about before. So sometimes you have to be at the computer they've gotten better and better where this stuff doesn't pop up but it's hard to keep up with everything so here is the avast screen go ahead and click uninstall boy ain't that something so now we're just going to wait while it uninstalls and again this is running here in the background as you can see and that is the avast screen so this would be a good pause spot and i'll jump back in when we get over to here so we don't waste two minutes and we're almost done, as you can see. While we're waiting for the last bit here, I should mention to you, under the batch uninstall, try to be careful how you use it. If you're working on a computer that's really slow, limited to maybe 4 gigs of RAM, you might want to be careful to only uninstall 3 or 4 programs at a time. Because you can see this took a while. They're large programs. If something freezes up, you know, you might get all screwed up in it. I've found it best 3 4 at a time. Also, some of these programs want you to reboot when you're done. So you got to keep hitting no. Etc. Etc. So try and stick to that rule. Uninstall three, maybe four at a time. And we'll get back to the program here shortly. There's the Avast still running. There it is right there. Uninstalled. 
restart computer, restart later. So you have to watch for that stuff popping up in the background to get the most out of it. So what I will be installer is doing now is it's actually just looking for leftover files, folders, registry entries, and other problems related to the uninstaller of Avast free antivirus. And I don't really mean problems, but just the way it works. So here we go. I can see why I hit pause. Doo -doo. Here she comes. There you go. So now this is why you can pick what you want to do as far as removing it when you when you start. If you don't want to go through this stuff step by step, you can see it left behind 786 items, 941.8 megs. I apologize. That's the uninstaller. So registry, it's left behind two items. Files, I guess it did leave behind that many. Look at this crap. Really? So odds are it might have gotten removed on the reboot or it might be scheduled to be removed, I would do select all, because who cares? And then you can shred the files if you have some sensitive stuff that you want to make sure it's gone. So now you just click delete, and now you can count up that you have deleted two registry entries, a scheduled task, which might be the delete files, and that you deleted 1.9 gigs in files. So there you go. I use this uh, all the time on my own computer, so now you've seen how this thing works pretty neat so you just come to here and right click on it when you're done and hit open main window and you're back to this so pretty neat I've come a long way with it. it really can clean your computer out so that pretty much covers it as you can see so once again if you want to batch install click 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 uh, as always you can find some basic settings in here and restore and different stuff like that but it keeps track of uh, what you've selected how much you're gonna do and honestly, I don't know what they charge, maybe 20 bucks, but the bundle wear watcher, the fact that I keep my computer running better longer because it doesn't have all this garbage left over behind it, I, I got no problem with 20 bucks worth it. So, But regardless, money's tight. You still can do everything you want for free. So whatever's good for you. It's a good way to say thanks if it helps you out. But anyway, there is IOBit uninstaller number eight. The final version should be out any day. But as you can see, if you're watching this video and it's still in release candidate, it works just fine the way it is. It's built on the previous versions of IOBit. So that pretty much covers, I believe, everything you need to know about using it. And uh, as always, you know the deal. Click subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Thanks for watching. See you next time.